For this sequence, you may want to have one or two blocks nearby and set them aside for use at any time. We're going to start in a child's pose position, coming to your mat. Bring your feet together, spread your knees nice and wide. Reach your arms out in front and rest your forehead down onto your mat. Set in your intention for this practice today. Bringing the awareness inward as you start to breathe through your nose. Big inhales for a count of three or four. And as you exhale, right back through the nose for that same amount of count. Nice and steady breaths. Walk your hands over towards the left side of your body. Pull those right hips down towards your heels. Maybe reach your right hand on top of your left as you feel the elongation in the right side of your body. Then bring your hands to the center. Walk over towards the right side of your body, pulling those left hips down towards your mat, maybe reaching that right hand on top of the left. Continuing to breathe nice and steady. Then walk your hands back to the center of your mat and then spread your fingers nice and wide. Grip the fingers into the mat coming up onto your fingertips. Feeling the space open up in your shoulder blades. Then come up to a tabletop position, all fours. Start with a couple cat cows. Hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. And as you take an inhale, you drop your belly, lift your chin. And as you exhale, you press through those palms to arch your back up high towards the sky. Continuing on, matching your breath with the movement. Add in any extra movement here that might feel good for you. Figure eight, hip circles. Or maybe just sitting back and resting onto your heels and shifting your hips from one side to the other. Then come back up to that tabletop position, all fours. Keep your fingers spread nice and wide. Pull that belly button into your spine as you reach that right foot back. Flex that right foot, extending through that right heel. And when you're ready, reaching that left arm up and out, keeping your neck nice and soft by gazing down in front. Take an inhale, reach out to the side, and exhale, come back to the center. Reach out to the side, left arm out, right foot out, coming back to the center. Come back to that center, really elongate, reach to those fingers, press through that heel, and then come back to tabletop position, all fours for the other side. Extending that left foot back, flex that left foot, pull that belly button into your spine, and when you're ready, reaching that right hand out, really extending through those fingers and through that heel. And then reach that right arm out to the side as you bring your left foot out and then back to the center, continuing on. One more time. Reach out to the side and then elongate. Reach through those fingers, press through that heel, and then come back to a tabletop position. From here, you're going to curl your toes under and just sit back onto your heels. Sitting up nice and tall, maybe adding in a few shoulder rolls. And then go ahead and look to your right. Bring your chin to your right shoulder. Look down, maybe reach on the top of your head and gently pull your head down towards your right shoulder. Stretching out the neck and then releasing and coming back to the center, shifting your chin over towards the left shoulder, gazing down, maybe bringing your left hand on top of your head and gently just pulling slightly down. And then release, look back straight ahead. And then bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Maybe placing your hand on top of your head as you gently pull that right hand down towards your right shoulder. Pull that left shoulder down away from your ear. And then changing sides, bringing that left ear down to your left shoulder. Maybe placing your left hand on top of your head. Pulling that right shoulder down away from your ear. Feeling that nice stretch in the neck. Inhale, both arms up high to the sky. And then we're going to exhale. You're going to cactus your arms. Take a little back bend. Lift through that chest. Inhale, reach back up. As you exhale, cactus those arms one more time. Inhale, reach up high to that sky. And on the exhale, bring that right hand down towards your side. As you elongate on the left side, reaching up through the left hand, gaze under that left shoulder. Inhale. 
And then coming back to the center, reach, extend both hands up, and on the exhale, extend that left hand down to your side, reaching that right arm up high to the sky, shifting the gaze underneath that right shoulder. Reach both hands up high to the sky, lift through that chest, and then bring your hands back down. Come to that tabletop position, all fours, curl the toes under, and then lift your hips up high to the sky. Keep a nice little bend in your knees for this first down dog this morning. Stretching out the hamstrings. Take an inhale, come to your tippy toes, and as you exhale, shift your hips over towards the left side, keeping your hands down on your mat. Inhale back to the center as you exhale over towards the right side of your body. Inhale, come back to the center on your tippy toes. Press your chest a little bit closer to your thighs. Lift those hips up nice and high to the sky. Continue with a nice steady breath. Inhale, come to a high plank position as you exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, back to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, back to downward dog. And then start to tiptoe, walk your feet up to meet your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Arms down by your side. Inhale, reverse swan. Reach our hands up over your head. Look up. Bring your hands to a prayer position and swan dive right back down, hinging at your hips. Hands down on your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Step that left foot back, then the right. High plank. Shift your weight forward. Chaturanga, lower down slowly. Elbows wrapped into your rib cage. Inhale, up cobra. Exhale, lower back down. Curl those toes under. Press up to a high plank and then to downward facing dog. Inhale, that right foot high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step that right foot through to the right hand. Left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Low lunge. On the exhale, you can bring your hands back behind you. Bring that right foot towards your face. Half split. Inhale, back to that low lunge. Reach up. On the exhale, take that half split. Arms back behind you. Inhale, back to that low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, back to that low lunge, or you can curl that left toe under and lift up into a crescent, reaching those arms up, and then lower back down, take that half split, taking the flow. Inhale, back to that low lunge or crescent, and as you exhale, lower down, take that half split. Inhale, come back up to that low lunge or the crescent. And then exhaling, coming back down, taking that half split. And then frame that right foot with both hands. Curl the back toe under, lift up. Reach that right arm high to the sky, easy twist. Bring that right hand down, frame that right foot. Step back to a high plank or float the leg as you come down, chaturanga. Inhale, up cobra or up dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. For the other side, inhale that left foot high to the sky. As you exhale, knee to nose, step it through to that left hand. Low lunge, inhale, reach those hands up high to the sky. And as you exhale, shifting your weight back, bring those left toes for you, half split. Inhale, back to that low lunge, reach up. Exhale, take that half split, reach back behind you, toes towards you. Inhale, come back to that low lunge. Exhale, take your half split. Inhale, come back to that low lunge, staying in the lunge or coming up to crescent, curling that right toe under, lift up. And as you exhale, lower back down, take that half split. Inhale, back up to that low lunge or crescent, reach up. On the exhale, lower back down, half split. Inhale, one more time, take that crescent or low lunge. Exhale, lower down, take that half split, and then you're going to frame your left foot. Take that easy twist, curl the right toe under, lift that left arm up high to the sky, open up, easy twist. Bring that left hand down, step back or float high plank, then you're going to lower down chaturanga, up cobra, up dog, and exhale back to downward facing dog.
Inhale that right foot high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, taking that low lunge once again. Left knee down, inhale, reach those arms up. As you exhale, you're gonna bring that right hand back behind you, extend the left arm forward, taking a twist and low lunge. Curl that back toe under, lift up, twisted crescent. And then reverse crescent, reaching that left arm up, right arm down to the back of the left leg. And then come back to that twisted crescent Inhale, back to regular crescent, reaching those hands up, palms face. And then you're going to exhale, hinge your weight forward, fly that crescent. Lower that left knee down, back to that low lunge. Inhale, raise your arms up. On the exhale, frame that right foot, stepping back to a high plank to downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left foot high, the sky, exhale, knee to nose, come to that low lunge. Inhale, reach those arms up. On the exhale, bring that right hand forward, left hand back, taking that twist. Curl that right toe under, come up to twisted crescent. Inhale, reach that right arm up, left arm back, taking the revolve crescent. Come back to that twisted crescent. Inhale, reach forward, regular crescent. On, then we're going to reach forward and fly. Hinge your weight forward. Lower that right knee down. Come to that low lunge. Exhale. Frame that left foot. Step back to a high plank and to downward facing dog. Again, on the right side, inhale that right foot high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Low lunge. Inhale. Reach those hands up high. Exhale. Open up. Take that twist. Curl that back toe under. Lift up into twisted crescent. And then revolved crescent, reaching that left arm up, right arm back. Come back to that twisted crescent. And then inhale, regular crescent. Hinge your weight forward and fly that crescent. And then lower that left knee down, low lunge. Reach those hands up, inhale. Exhale, frame that right foot. Step back to your high plank to downward facing dog. Left side, inhale that left foot high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, come onto the back knee, low lunge. Inhale, reach those hands up. On the exhale, open up, take that twist. Curl that right toe under, lift up, twisted crescent. A revolved crescent, reaching that right arm up, left arm back. Come back to the twisted crescent. Inhale back to regular crescent. Hinge your weight forward and fly, arms back behind you. Lower that right knee down, inhale, reach up. On the exhale, frame that left foot, step back to a high plank to downward facing dog. Pedal it out a couple times in down dog, keeping those fingers spread nice and wide. And then you're going to tiptoe walk, or maybe jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Reverse on, reach those hands up high to the sky, look up, lift through that chest, hand to prayer position, and hinge forward all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands onto your mat, and then you're going to step back or maybe jump to a high plank, take that chaturanga, lower down slowly, inhale, up cobra, up dog, on the exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, that right foot high to the sky, exhale, knee to nose, and then use those arms to cartwheel yourself open to a warrior two, heel to arch alignment with your feet, arms out to your side, palms face down as you gaze over that right arm, 90 degree bend in the right leg. Stay with that breath. Flip that front palm, inhale, reverse warrior, reach that right arm up, the left arm down that left leg. And then you're going to come to a standing side angle, your version. Have your right forearm onto your right thigh, or maybe reaching your right hand to the inside of your right leg as you reach that left arm up high to the sky, stacking the shoulders, taking binds if it's a part of your practice. And then use those side obliques to come back up to the warrior two. Flip that front palm. Reverse warrior. Straighten that right leg. Reverse triangle. Reaching the right arm back. Left arm down. And then come back up. Teen those arms. Hinge your weight forward. And lower down. Right arm into the inside of the outside of your right leg or onto a block. Stacking those shoulders once again or adding any half binds in here. Maybe bring that left arm back behind you, reaching those left fingers for the inside of your right thigh. Maybe reaching that right arm up and hovering, flying it. Shifting your gaze over that left shoulder, keeping your chest and your heart open. And continuing to breathe nice and steady.
Restack those shoulders if you're in a bind. Reach that left arm up. Look down. Bend that right knee and start to walk or float that left leg up, coming to a half moon here. Right arm down onto a block or your fingers down onto your mat as you stack those shoulders once again. Keeping that left foot flex. Maybe shifting your gaze up towards your left fingers. And then bring that left arm down to meet the right. Shift your weight to a standing L, keeping that left leg still hovered and left foot flexed. And then I'm going to lower down, bringing that left leg behind your right, taking a cow face pose, lowering down to your mat, trying to stack your knees on top of one another. And then bringing that left elbow and hooking it to the outside of your right knee as you take that twist, using your right hand to twist into it. Keeping with that nice steady breath. In and out through your nose. Gently release out of that twist. Use your hand to lift yourself up and then press up and then just come back to a forward fold here. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Lower back down. You're going to put your hands back to your mat, step your right foot back, then your left high plank to downward facing dog. From here, inhale that left foot high to the sky. Exhale, step it through, pivot the back foot flat, cartwheel yourself open to that warrior two position. 90 degree bend in the left leg, arms out, gazing over your left fingers. And then you're going to flip that front palm, take that reverse warrior, reaching the right arm down, left arm up. And then coming into extended side angle, your version of extended side angle. Left forearm onto the left thigh, or maybe reaching the left arm to the inside of the left leg as you stack your shoulders, reaching that right arm up high to the sky, or taking binds if it's a part of your practice. Maintaining that steady breath wherever you are. Using those side obliques, come back to that warrior two. Reverse warrior, straighten that left leg. Reverse triangle, reach back. And then come back up, T those arms. Take your triangle pose, hinging your weight forward, bringing that arm to the outside of your left leg or onto a block. Stacking those shoulders once again or taking a half bind, bringing that top arm behind you. Maybe extending the bottom arm out, floating and hovering, getting some ab work in here. If you're taking binds, make sure to give yourself time to restack those shoulders and come out of it. Then reach that left arm down, bend that left knee. When you're ready, fly that top leg, come into a half moon. Maybe bringing your right hand onto your right hip. Left arm onto a block or on your fingertips. Keep that right foot flexed. And then bring that right arm back up and then bring it down to meet the left, hinging into that standing L, keeping that right foot flexed. Lifting that chest by pressing through your hands and then lowering that back leg down, taking that cow face pose. Stacking the left leg on top of the right this time. Bringing your right arm and hooking your right elbow to the outside of your left knee as you take that twist and look over to your left side. Gently releasing out of it, bringing your hands back forward and lifting up and coming out of that twist, coming back to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, bring your hands back down to your mat, stepping that left foot back and then the right high plank to downward facing dog. Pressing your chest closer to your thighs, seeing if your heels get a little bit closer to your mat. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. And then come down to a tabletop position, all fours, lower your knees down. Then from here, you're going to extend your right leg back, pressing through that heel, and then bend that knee, lift the sole of foot high to the sky, and maybe reach your left arm back to grab for the foot or the ankle of your right leg, taking a back bend here, really pressing through that right hand to lift up as you pull that foot back into your hand. Continue with that breath. 
and then just gently release out of it. And we're changing sides. Extend that left foot back and then bend the left knee, sole the foot towards the sky. Reach that right arm back for the left foot or the left ankle. Press through that left hand to lift your chest up as you grab that foot, pulling that foot back into your hand, taking that nice back bend and continuing to breathe. Gently releasing out of it. Curl your toes under, lift back to that downward facing dog, lift those hips high to that sky. And then start to walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, lower down. Take a reverse swan, arms down by your side as you inhale, look up, lift your hands up high to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands back down to your side into a prayer position. From here, you're going to have your right arm underneath your left, eagle arms, trying to get those palms to touch as you press those palms away from your face, opening up the space in your shoulder blades. Staying with that nice, steady breath. And then bring that right foot on top of your left thigh. We're going to take an eagle arm figure four chair pose as you lower down, pressing those hips back and sitting nice and deep. At any point, you can release those arms and bring them down onto your block for support. Go ahead and release your hands if you haven't already. Bring them onto your blocks or your mat to sit a little bit deeper into this figure four chair pose, stretching out the outer right hip, piriformis. And then bring your hands to prayer, lift up. We're going to fly that right foot back into a warrior three position, slight bend in that standing leg, pressing through that right heel, finding the position for your arms, whether it's on a block in the prayer position behind you or in reaching out in front. And then bring your hands down onto your mat, standing split, reach that right foot, pointing those toes high to the sky as you bring your face closer to your left shin. And then bring that leg down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, lower back down. Reverse one, reach those hands up high to the sky as you look up, reach up. Bring their hands to prayer position down heart center. Changing sides. Now we're going to bring that right arm over the left, taking the eagle pose here with the arms, pressing the palms together and then away from your face, stretching out the upper back and the shoulder blades. And then bringing that left ankle over the right thigh, taking that chair pose once again, lowering down as far as you're able to go, keeping those eagle arms or releasing them at any point and bringing them down to your mat or onto a block. If you haven't already, release those arms, bring them down to your block or your mat. Take a deeper chair pose here, sitting deep. Keep that chest lifted. And then you're going to release that left foot, fly into warrior three when you're ready, hands onto your block or onto your mat, or bring them heart center, pressing that left heel back. Left foot is flexed, finding the position for your arms, taking the challenge that's appropriate for you today. Maybe they extend out in front, maybe they extend behind you, or you keep them on your blocks or heart center. And then take that standing split, extend those left toes high to the sky as you bring your chest closer to your right thigh. And then bring that left foot down to meet the right. We're going to inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands down to your mat, set the left foot back, and then the right high plank to downward facing dog. Inhale that right foot high to the sky. On the exhale, you're going to bring that right foot to the outside of the right hand, taking a lizard pose here. Either keeping that left knee off of the mat or bringing the left knee down, staying up on your hands or coming down to your forearms or into a block. Adding any little twists here if it feels good for you, bringing that right hand and placing onto your knee as you push the knee out a little bit as you shift your gaze up towards your right shoulder.
and then lowering that knee down if it's not already. Lift your hands up, walk that right foot in, dance it in, and we're going to come to a half pigeon pose here, keeping your hands out in front. And then when you're ready, making your space down, coming onto your forearms or onto a block, continuing to stretch out the right side, the right hips. Really using that breath to calm the mind, calm the body, really maximizing the stretch. Just allowing yourself to fall into it. Relaxing the muscles in your face. Either staying in your half pigeon or if you want to add in a quad stretch, coming back up and reaching the left arm back for the left foot or the left ankle. Maybe hooking that left foot into your forearm, taking a mermaid position, reaching that right arm up, extending. Maybe clasping those right fingers to meet your left fingers, lifting up through that chest. And if you're stretching that quad, gently release the quad, bring your hands back forward, press up, lift up, come back to a downward facing dog for the other side. Inhale that left foot high to the sky on the exhale, step that left foot to the outside of the left hand, lizard pose here. Either keeping that right knee up, hovering over your mat, or you can lower that right knee down to your mat. Taking your lizard pose here, maybe coming onto your forearms, or again, adding any twists in here if you want to press that right hand onto your knee and pressing the knee away from you for a little spinal stretch. And then bringing your hand center once again, lowering that right knee down if it's not already, and then just dancing that left foot center, taking a half pigeon pose here for the other side. Starting nice and tall into your fingertips and then using that breath to relax the body, allowing it to maybe get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Scanning the body and making sure those muscles in your face are still relaxed. Allowing the rest of those muscles to relax with it. Now you can either stay in this half pigeon pose or once again option to add a quad stretch in. As you come back, back to your hands and then reach that right arm back for the right foot or the right ankle. As you pull that foot towards you, maybe hooking that foot to the inside of your right forearm. Again, taking a mermaid position here if you like, extending that left arm up high to the sky, maybe clasping those fingers together as you extend that left elbow up and lift through that chest. And just gently release the quad stretch. Bring your hands back forward, gently press yourself up back to a high plank position here. And then just walk your feet forward come to a seated position here we're going to take a bridge pose here coming onto your back feet are about hips width apart flat onto your mat knees are bent and then from here you're going to really press through your feet press through those heels as you squeeze your glutes to lift those hips up high to the sky slight tuck with your chin down maybe interlace those fingers underneath your back if you like Continue to squeeze those glutes to lift those hips up high as you can to the sky, maybe coming to your tippy toes. Wrapping those thighs inward so that your knees don't fall out to the side. Imagining you have that block between your thigh or maybe place that block between your thigh. 
And then when you're ready, nice and slow, one vertebra at a time, lowering down. So your lower back is the last thing to touch your mat. And then draw those knees into your chest, make a ball. Gently rock from side to side, massaging out that lower back. And then come to a happy baby position. Bend your knees, reach for the outer soles of your feet and the arches. And then pull your feet down towards your chest. And once again, gently rocking from one side to the next. And then bring your feet together, extend the soles of your feet high to the sky, leg extension here, maybe taking a plow pose if you want to grab for your feet and bringing those feet over your head. Just listening to your body and adding in anything here that is calling to you, anything that feels good. And taking just a couple more breaths here. If you're in the plow pose, gently releasing down nice and slow, adding in that core work if you like, extending those hands over your head as you gently lower your legs all the way down to the mat, keeping that lower back still attached to your mat for that nice, strong core work. And then wherever you are, just gently bring your whole body back down to that mat. Let your feet fall open to the side. Rest your arms down by your side, palms face up for the final pose of the day. Shavasana. Closing your eyes and bringing awareness back in. And if you have more time today to stay in this position, please do so. Otherwise, namaste.